Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Here in this video, we are going to discuss how to install Ubuntu 25.04 on Windows 11. So with that being said, let's get started. To install Ubuntu 25.04 on Windows 11, we are going to use VirtualBox. So I already have a video on how you can download and install VirtualBox on Windows 11. So I'll provide the video link in the i button or you will get the video link in the description box. Once you have installed VirtualBox on Windows 11, simply download the Ubuntu 25.04 ISO file. For that, simply open any browser, search for Ubuntu and open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the link, I'll provide the link in the description box. Now to download Ubuntu 25.04, simply click on product tab, hey, click on Ubuntu for desktop. Click on download Ubuntu desktop and here we have the Ubuntu download page. Simply scroll down and here we will find Ubuntu 25.04 and here we have two download options. One is for Intel and AMD processor and another one is for ARM based processor. If you don't know which processor you are using, then simply right click on start button, open settings, click on system, then click on about. Here under device specification, look for processor. Here you can see I'm using AMD processor. So I'll download the AMD version of Ubuntu 25.04. Here you can see it is downloading. It is around 6 GB. So it will take some time to download. Wait for the download process to complete. Once the download has been completed, simply minimize the browser. Open VirtualBox and we have to create a new virtual machine. Click on new option. Hit name your virtual machine. Let me name it as Ubuntu 25. Here you will find the option to select the ISO file. Simply click on this drop down menu. Click on other. Navigate to the download location and select the Ubuntu 25.04 ISO file. Then click on open. From the type drop down menu, simply select Linux and select subsystem as Ubuntu and version as Ubuntu 64 bit. After that, click on this skip button. Now click on hardware and you can simply specify your hardware. Like base memory, let me allocate 4 GB and from here you can simply select the processor. Let me allocate 2 CPU. After that, click on this hard disk option and allocate the storage. Let me allocate 50 GB. Then click on finish. After that, select virtual machine. Then click on settings. Now go to display settings. Click on screen and change your video memory to 128 MB. Then click on OK. Now select your virtual machine. Then click on start button. Here simply use up and down key and select try or install Ubuntu and hit enter key. Here simply select your language, then click on next, again click on next, select your keyboard layout, click on next and connect to the internet, then click on next. Now to install Ubuntu 25.04 on virtual machine, simply select the first option, then click on next, select this option, then click on next, select default selection, then click on next. And here we have some option to install the recommended software. Simply click on checkbox, install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware, and click on this download and install support for additional media formats. Then click on next and wait for the process to complete. Once done, you will find two options one is erase DIX and installed Ubuntu and manual installation. So we are installing Ubuntu on VirtualBox. So we will select this option, then click on next. Select no encryption option, then click on next. And here create your account. Enter your password, confirm your password, then click on next. Select location, click on next. And here we have our installation setup. Simply review your choice, then click on install. Finally, it is going to install Ubuntu 25.04 on your virtual box. So wait for the process to complete. Once the installation is complete, simply click on restart now button. 
Once you get, please remove the installation medium, then press enter, simply click the enter button and wait for the process to complete. Now simply select your user account, enter your system password and log into your Ubuntu system. Here we have the welcome screen, click on next. If you want to share data, then you can simply select this option or else select no, then click on next, then click on finish. Now you are ready to use Ubuntu in VirtualBox on Windows 11. Now to use in full screen, click on view, then click on full screen mode. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.